hey you guys so i just want to come on here let's do a vlog let's do a chit chat let's do a talk you know it'll be fun so i um, hope you guys are having a good weekend um which is great you're getting a clear picture for some reason i have no idea why this is the video thing that i use and i never look in the um camera part or whatever but um upcoming videos that we have we have skipper um maxi and i did this like live stream thing and i was announcing all of the stuff that was coming up and I wound up having to delete it because she didn't claim she didn't she thought it was too expensive and stuff like that so Kelly Core did get the package which is great I'll be shipping that out as soon as I can Kelly so I have this really cool skipper doll coming up I seen this in Barbie what was it when they made smoothies and things like that she, I thought she was a really cute doll $9.98 at Target very inexpensive um, oh god, okay girl. And I had this maxi doll that I'm gonna do a box showing because I feel like she's in mint condition, you guys. She's honestly beautiful. She's vintage -y. she's cool. 1987 maxi doll by Kenner, which is Hasbro. So this is by Hasbro, 1987 maxi. Uh, Hasbro used to make fashion dolls a long time ago, similar to Barbie. You know, very cool. She's very different. She's very skipper sized, I would think. And, um... I have hives on my body, which is driving me crazy. Like heat hives. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. They've been itching. You see it all right there. And like all, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but right there, heat hives are real right now. I have them on my knees, which is an odd place to have them, but I do. So I have heat hives. And a little thing that I learned about that salon, the one that I did a review on, the, the pink one, her chair actually dips back and she could dip her head in the sink. That was crazy. I did that by accident. I learned it and her whole chair goes back so she can dip her hair into the sink. And I've seen these at Dollar General. These are really cute. Little beach Barbies. Very, very cute. They have these at Dollar General right now. Very basic Barbie short hair. You know, plain Jane face. Nothing special, but she's really, really cute. The only thing she's missing is a bikini. She comes with a little tropical dress and everything, but she's missing a bikini. And I've been having that doll for a long time. I bought it from Amazon like a long time ago, like months ago. And they're now showing up at Dollar General. So if you want one, you can go get them at Dollar General. They're available there. I'll leave my uh, wish list down below. I bought Maxi off my wish list, and I've been taking off stuff as been buying things. Because I do save stuff on there also for future purchases if, if you guys don't purchase it i will eventually so this is just like a saving thing so that way i don't have to scroll through amazon trying to find stuff i just see things that i think are cute i said oh that would be a cute video and things like that i think that would be a cute video and i'll buy it later on but if you guys want to purchase some of my stuff off of my amazon wish it will be in the description down below check it out Lots of Little Mermaid and things like that. Um, Teddy Bay sent me some stuff back there. I still have it. I'm in debate on whether to open it because she's her crown is just like popped off and fell to the bottom, that poor girl. I'm in debate on whether to open, open it because I already have an Ariel doll that's out of the packaging and opened and has long glamorous hair. But I want to open that one, I think, because her little crown fell off the bottom and I think it would be easier. Um, she had an elastic band probably at one time too. Um, and I did get another aerial too. I got, I bought Maxi and that aerial doll with the balloon. If you guys see my wish list, I bought an aerial doll with the balloon. So she'll be, I can show you her right now. I think she's gorgeous. She's in mint condition. The boxes came in really good condition and it's really, really adorable. Look how cute she is. She's got her little balloon and her little ring and it's got a to and from on the top. It's called Party Princess Ariel. So if you guys are looking for this on eBay, it's called Party Princess Ariel. She comes with a balloon and a ring and a gorgeous crown and lots and lots of sparkles. She's adorable. I love Ariel. Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. Like, this is what I grew up watching when I was little. Um, Yeah, so, and she's cute. She's got a peep toe thing happening. She is from, what year? I have no idea. She's probably recently, I think. I would think she'd be recently anyway. She's from Mattel, you guys, believe it or not. I love the Mattel Disney princesses. She's from 2012, so it's the 2012 Party Princess Ariel. I love telling you guys this because that way you know, like, it's from 2012 Party Princess Ariel. You guys will be able to find it a lot easier if you know the year and what it's called. I hate people that do reviews and they don't tell you what it is or what, what year it's from because then it makes it hard for other people to find it. So I'm going to go put it on my shelf. And I might open this Ariel doll. Actually, I might give away one of these Ariel dolls. This one's really cute. 
I don't know if she'd want it though, because this is really cute. This is a Mattel Ariel. I don't know what year she's from, but I might give this to you, girl. I might add this in the box. I think you need an Ariel doll, right? She's a um really cute Ariel doll too. She's a Mattel Ariel. Isn't she adorable? And this is from what 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 where is she from though? I don't know. I think she is from the wedding set, isn't she? We don't know. But um, we're gonna add this in there, girl. This this packaging when you get a girl, it's gonna be so heavy. So I feel like everybody needs an Ariel doll in their life. She's adorable. I've been having her on my shelf for a long time. She is adorable. She got a little tropical outfit on. She's never been brushed or combed, combed, and she is a Mattel Ariel with peep toe high heel shoes, which is adorable. Look at them shoes, girl. Tropical realness is happening. So we're gonna throw this in there with you for you or your daughter, whoever wants her. I know she's got a daughter. Um, and she's cute. And this is a Mattel Ariel. She's got a lot of glue in the head, but no glue seepage. So she'll be all good to go for water play and whatever you choose to do with her. If you want to, and she's a skipper size doll. So that's one thing that I could point out to you guys that she can dress her in whatever you please. And we'll put a rubber band on top of her head. I think that way it'll keep all of her hair in good shape. So that way when I ship it to you guys, she'll be good to go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to put on a little, a little elastic band that way. We'll keep everything nice and tight, so we're going to throw it in there for your Kelly car. Also, I threw in some Ken doll shoes, so if you need some Ken doll shoes, it's like pirate boots and black shoes and white sneakers. So if you, if you guys have a Ken doll and Ken doll needs, um, you can have that one too. I don't know, I think, I don't know. But um, I need to make room for more stuff because I obviously have an issue going on right here. So if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I have lots of box Barbies, all of them, plus all of them that need a shelf. So eventually I'm going to be buying a shelf from Big Lots. That's where I get all my shelves. It's pressed wood. I usually buy displays because it's the easiest thing to do. I have a little Kia Soul right now that just fits it in there, which is great. Um, So I think I'm going to be opening Teddy Bear's. Ariel, because I feel bad for her because she lost her little um thing. It's so sad when the, when dolls lose their crown. Plus, they have room for it now that the other girl's going. I think this would be a good addition to my collection. It's just so sad when dolls just lose their like everything. I don't know what's going on with her hair neither. She's so gorgeous though, you guys. You know when you see a good, gorgeous, pretty doll, this is one of them dolls that she yeah, is gorgeous. And Teddy Bear bought me this, I still love her. Lots and lots of glitter galore, you guys. She's got a beautiful dress. And this is a Mattel Ariel. We love a good Mattel Ariel. You know, this poor girl then lost her crown at the bottom. And it's an easy open packaging, which is great. They had Aurora. This is all the crowns and all the girls in the back. I'm gonna be adding her to my collection in the side because um the one i just gave to you kelly car this girl will be the replacement of that doll because we all love a good aerial doll don't we i don't know you guys like i have so many dolls right now it's gonna be a nightmare whenever we gotta go to packing things it's gonna be crazy dude i don't even know how to open this thing this is from what year is this from no idea i know she's not that old 2011 she's made in Indonesia so I know the, the poor people in Indonesia they, they, they flooded out completely they had a uh, tsunami and like it wiped out the whole community you guys it's really really sad for them people I don't know if you heard that on, on the news like I seen it on um what was it on it was on Facebook and this whole community like they had this huge top tsunami I think that's what it's called like the big wave that comes and it just completely wiped out the whole community. It's really, really sad um, about that stuff. I mean, it's really, really sad for the people. It's just, it's, it sucks seeing stuff like that happen to people. And it's like a devastating, flooding. Like, they, I mean, that, that wave that came, like, completely took out some of the homes. I mean, it was that strong. Um, so, yeah. It's really, really sad, you guys. But, um... I'm gonna open her. Yeah, there's a crown. The poor thing lost a crown. Isn't that a shame? It had an easy open package, but it wasn't that easy or easy to open. Oh, girl, you got some glue seepage. It's so such a shame. This is how you know when you get a vintage Barbie, you guys. If they got glue seepage issues, you're gonna see 
it's going to be wet on the back of the packaging. This is what usually happens when you're opening dolls and they have glue seepage issues. And it's fine. It's not a big deal, you guys, because she's Ariel and she's so cool and so pretty. Now, I've, heard, I've seen reviews on her and they said her head pops off very easily and her head tangles and all that other stuff. I'm not going to have any issues with that because she's going straight on the shelf as soon as I open her up. But y'all already know I take good care of my Barbie dolls. I do not brush them. When I put them on a shelf, they go on the shelf as is. I do not usually judge them unless they need it. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, nine times out of ten, they are good to go on the shelf. She has a rotting rubber band in her hair. That's gross. Uh, I have a lot of thought. I have a thought process when I'm opening dolls. This poor girl has kajinkas in the back of her head. This is the one thing I wish Mattel would stop doing is putting the annoying snaps in the back of the doll's head. It's so annoying. But um, overall, you guys, this is a gorgeous doll as I'm opening her. She's just gorgeous. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I hope you're in for a ride, right? I don't know what's going on with this boy. Don't see. I'm like, what is going on? Does she have like, she's got like that, that, um, Kajinka where it's like, um, unbreakable. There we go. Oh, I hope I lost all her Kajinkas. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think the snaps broke off in the back of her head, but I don't see any, so that's good. That's a good sign. You poor thing. Oh my god, you poor thing. Girl, how long have you been in the packaging? She has like little things. Oh, this is so cute. I love Ariel. I mean, she's got glitter everywhere. everywhere. And the good thing about a Mattel doll is usually they have really nice glitter that doesn't come off on your hands, which would be really great. Let me get her out of the packaging for you guys. Ooh, she is gorgeous. Girl, thank you so much, Teddy Bay. Let me get her crown. Her crown is in her little thing. Little thing. Girl, a princess needs her crown, okay, ma'am? Okay, there's her little crown. She is gorgeous. Oh my god, she's pretty. So thank you, Teddy Bay, for purchasing her from me. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to show you, to, you guys to her in a minute, but just trying to get a crown on everything. Oh my god, she's like glitter galore. So this is her. Gorgeous. From Teddy Bay. So I don't know if that's going to take a thumbnail or not, but she is gorgeous. Look at this glitter. Oh my god. I'm a glitter freak. I love hot pink and glitter, and she is gorgeous. Look at a cute little bow and everything. Packaging here, typical Mattel. You know, they used to do this. Velcro uh, closure right here. And she's adorable, you guys. I mean, if y'all could pick her up, oh my god, she is gorgeous and beautiful. This is a Mattel Ariel, you guys, too. I'll be adding her to my collection. I think she's gorgeous, you guys. We love a good Ariel, don't we? Oh, right, girl, you're just going to keep losing your crown. I'm going to have to put her down on the shelf. That way she doesn't lose her crown again. And she's got gorgeous hair. Like, honestly, we love it, don't we? It looks like her hair was, like, tied to the back some type of way. I don't know. But it's all right. We'll fix, we'll fix her up and put her on my shelf. I'm going to put her on the shelf just like that because she looks good. But anyway, I don't know, you guys. So, um, this is Maxi, you guys. If you want to, um purchase some stuff in my wish list you can add to my maxi doll collection if you want to or add to my aerial doll collection um the link will be in the description you guys hope you enjoyed this vlog video type thing and me opening aerial me talking just out of my head randomness happening so just remember to hit that like button you guys subscribe if you got any questions any comments leave them down below and again the wish list is in the description of this channel so stay tuned for that you guys and i'll give you guys a shout out if you buy things for me from my, from my wish list so just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos bye